Good morning and welcome back to another Morning Moments with Jesus. Each one of us approach the gift of a new morning differently. There are some rising this morning who awake happy, and perhaps there's some that wake hurting. There are different circumstances and different decisions in life that affect the way we approach each and every day. But there is one simple truth that God wants me to bring to each and every one of us this morning. It's a simple truth, but it's a very, very often overlooked truth. That if we could start our day and establish our day on this principle and this truth, then the rest of the day would be based on that and have its foundation on that truth. And it could very well affect how you approach this day, how you look at this day, even your attitude towards the gift of this day. And that one simple truth is simply this. God loves you. He loves you. And I'm reminded in 1 John chapter 4 this morning, in verse number 10, the Bible says, Herein is love, not that we love God, but that He first loved us. And He sent His Son to be the atonement for our sins. If God so loved us, we ought to also love one another. We love Him because He first loved us. Now that's a truth that we can rely on because I know that sometimes in life we get so involved in our struggles and so involved in even other people's lives and different situations that come up that rob us of the fact that we are loved. And if God loved us enough to sacrifice His only Son for us, then I am confident that He can handle my day in everything that comes my way in it. This past week, I shared a story with a, a brother that we were having a conversation during prayer walk. I told him of a story of a, a dear friend uh, I've known for many years who told me that as a Christian, as a young Christian, one of the things he struggled with the most is how God could love him after all the things sometimes that has gone on in his life, how, how God could love him. He couldn't wrap his mind around a father's love because he'd really never known that in his life until the day his daughter was born. And the day his daughter was born, he said he looked into her little face for the first time. And even though he had just met her, he knew he would give up his life for her. And at that moment, God softly spoke to him. And he said, the way you love her, I love you even more. And he said his Christian walk changed from then on because he knew he was secure in a father's love who would be willing to give up everything for him. So today when you approach this day, I don't care what is outside your door, what is coming into your life today. It has to go by God first. And He loves you enough to protect you, to provide for you, to heal you, to strengthen you in the midst of your weakness. Nothing is too hard for our God. We love Him because He first loved us. You be strong today. 
Be safe and be blessed as you take a little time to just take a little time and spend some time with Jesus. The Bible says that greater love has no man than this than to give up his life for his friends. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Walk in the love of God today. His banner over you is love. May God bless you. May God keep you. And may you have a great day.